Expand your vocabulary with our core 2,000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Hebrew ebook before it's gone. Hi everybody, welcome to Weekly Hebrew Words. I'm Edith and today we're going to talk about food. Basar, meat. הרגע יצאתי מהחדר כושר. אני רעבה לבשר. I just got out of the gym. I'm hungry for meat. I don't know, does this happen to you? Like when you just finish a really good workout and what you're hungry for is like protein? Yeah, <laughs> meat. Sometimes you can't avoid it. You just, you just need it, right? פירות ים. Seafood. אני לא אוכלת פירות ים. אני שומרת על כשרות. I don't eat seafood. I keep kosher. You really have to, when you go to restaurants in Israel, like you really have to notice if they're kosher or not. Most of them are. Orez. Rice. אני לא מצליחה להכין אורז כמו שצריך. אני צריכה להתקשר לאימא שלי. I can't make rice properly. I need to call my mom. I don't know, like in Asia, a lot of, most of the countries have those rice cookers. And in Israel, it's not quite so common. And also the type of rice is different because it's more long and hard. So you cook it just in a pot. And if you don't really have experience doing it, it's really easy to mess it up. The first few times, a lot of few times that I tried to cook rice, I really messed it up. And I was like calling my mom, like, mom, can you tell me how to make rice? Lechem, bread. יש לכם אולי לחם ללא גלוטן? Do you maybe have gluten-free bread? When you have a food allergy in Israel, people would most probably like 100% accommodate you uh, because it's very common. And gluten-free bread is very, very simple. לחם ללא גלוטן. עוגה. Cake. היה לי כזה יום קשה, אני צריכה עוגה. I had such a rough day. I need cake. Please, cake, yes. One of my favorite things. And also a custom, I guess, in a lot of places is to make a birthday cake, obviously for kids who have birthdays. And in Israel, it's most of the time like the same kind of rectangular chocolate cake with some funfetti on the top and candles. Honestly, like, that's the best cake you can have. So thanks, everybody. This was this week's weekly words about food. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite food is. My favorite food is any type of Thai food. So, yeah, share to me, like, what's your favorite dish and what's your favorite cuisine. And I'll see you all next week for more Hebrew words. Don't forget to check out Hebrew Pod 101 uh, for more content and more Hebrew. And see you next week. Bye. Hi everyone, welcome to Hebrew Weekly Words. My name is Yara, and this week's theme is... Flavors. Okay, let's learn some Hebrew. Ta'am, flavor. So this word ta'am is flavor, as in what ice cream flavor do you like? But we also use it to say there's no point, and be the ta'am. It also tastes like in good taste. He has good taste. יש לו טעם טוב. It's funny because it sounds like he's delicious. חריף, spicy. There's usually a kind of spice that we just call it חריף, spicy. I don't even know what it's made of and maybe it refers to different kind of spicy spices, but that's how you call it. So when you go to a falafel stand, you can tell the vendor, simli הרבה חריף. Put a lot of spicy in my falafel. And one you really want to memorize is Bli kharif bevakasha, no spicy please. Maluach, salty, uh, which comes from the word melach, salt. So the Dead Sea is called in Hebrew the salt sea because it's salty. Ugh, haorez ze maluach midai. This rice is too salty. Chamutz, sour. I like it because it goes well with the face that you make when you eat something sour. It's like chamutz. Limon hu chamutz. 
lemon is sour. Matok, sweet. Maybe my favorite Israeli sweet is Sufganya, which is the Hanukkah donut. It's not a donut. I don't want to call it that. I think it's offensive to the Sufganya because it's so much better than that. אני אוהבת את הקפה שלי עם מתוק. I like my coffee sweet. Like I like my man. This is the end of the video. We talked about flavors today. What is your favorite flavor? Tell us in the comments and don't forget to check out the site. I'll see you next week. Bye! Hello everyone, welcome to Hebrew Top Words. I am Edith and today we're going to talk about 10 Israeli foods. Nom, 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 nom. Let's get started. Gefilte fish. Gefilte fish. Gefilte fish. Gefilte fish. Kol shana be Pesach, Savta shali machina gefilte fish. Every year on Passover, my grandmother makes gefilte fish. Gefilte fish is more of a East European Jewish food. And it's a, it's like chopped up fish and made into like little bowls and there's a piece of carrot on top and it's, it's usually served cold and there's like gelatinous stuff around it. And it's kind of grayish. I'm like, no. Hummus. 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 And you have to give hummus in pita. I like to eat hummus with pita. I think anywhere in the Middle East where, where you eat hummus, which is pretty much everywhere in the Middle East, you take like a piece of pita bread, which is like flat bread, and you wipe the hummus in like a circular motion like that. There was like an old commercial in Israel when somebody wiped the hummus like that, and everybody looked at him like, oh, you're so crazy, <laughs> you're supposed to do it like that, not like that, so. Tchina, tahini. Trina, tahini. Ani sama trina al kol davar. I put tahini on anything. If you don't know what it is, it's like a sesame paste. When it's in its raw form, it's just really sesame. And you can make it sweet, mix it up with honey, or usually people make it not non-sweet and eat it with hummus, and they put like lemon and garlic inside. If you're a vegetarian or something, or a vegan, vegan, um, then eat a lot of tahini. It's really, really good for you. Meorav Yerushalmi, Jerusalem Mixed Grill. Meorav Yerushalmi, Jerusalem Mixed Grill. Nasati la Abu Gosh lechol Meorav Yerushalmi. I went to Abu Gosh to eat Jerusalem Mixed Grill. Jerusalem Mixed Grill is like, it's really bad. Uh, it's a skewer and it has like chicken parts, which is like chicken liver and hearts and I don't know, like maybe kidneys or something. I don't eat those kind of stuff. I think it's really bad. I don't think you're supposed to eat parts of the body that filter toxins. And if you cannot eat meat at all, which unfortunately I can't, but if you can do that, then it's better not to. And some people really like it. I think a lot of people from Jerusalem like, they swear by it, it's delicious, they eat it in a pita or whatever, but, I mean, ugh, no. Matzah. Matzo. Matzah. Matzo. Bizman Pesach, an yocholet rak matzot. During Passover, I only eat matzo. There is, like, a whole argument if matzos are, are, like, tasty or not. I think they're not. It's incredibly dry. And if you eat too much, then you'll get really, really bloated. Super bloated. Salat Israeli. Israeli salad. Salat Israeli. Israeli salad. Ani mechina salat Israeli im melafafon vagvanya. I make Israeli salad with cucumber and tomato. Israeli salad is a lot like a Greek salad, and it's pretty much like cucumber and tomato always. Some people like onions. I think most people like onions in it and parsley, and then you just put some olive oil and lemon. Some people like to chop it like really big pieces like Greek salad and some people like it very very small. Um, I don't really care as long as it's tasty. Falafel. 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 Ani oevet lechol falafel be pita im malé tchina. I like to eat falafel in a pita with loads of tahini. So if you don't know what falafel is, falafel is like little balls made out of chickpeas and they're deep fried and then you put them in like a pita with some salad and tahini or hummus 
and some people add like french fries inside which is kind of cute it's really good it's vegan it's not the healthiest thing because i mean it's deep fried but um some people make them at home and they bake them and they just put a bit of oil in it which is makes it a lot healthier and chickpeas are very good for you and they have a lot of protein in it and a lot of calcium and good stuff tasty and healthy ish <laughs> ptitim israeli couscous ptitim israeli couscous akhi ani ohavet et ptitim shel ima my favorite thing is my mom's israeli couscous ptitim or israeli couscous is kind of like orzo if you know that it looks like rice or like tiny tiny balls but it's made out of pasta dough and you can put it in salads or you can make like some sort of casserole out of it and i think it goes really really well with zucchini it pretty much goes with anything and it's really good kugel yerushalmi jerusalem noodle pie kugel yerushalmi jerusalem noodle pie אני נוסעת למאה שערים לאכול קוגל ירושלמי. I'm going to go to מאה שערים to eat Jerusalem noodle pie. Usually I don't like this type of food, but this is really good. It's like noodles, and they put maybe some eggs to make it all stick together, and sugar and cinnamon, and they bake it for a long time. And then it's kind of like bread pudding, but more stiff. and it's really tasty shakshuka 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 and you have it lit bol khala be shakshuka i like to dip challah bread in shakshuka so challah bread is like braided bread that people usually eat on saturdays but um you can also have it pretty much any other day it's just white bread it's kind of nice and shakshuka is poached eggs in um tomato sauce It's originally from um Morocco, I believe, but it kind of made its way into Israel and it's delicious. You can make it spicy or not spicy. If you like take the bread and dip it inside and you get like yolk and you get tomato sauce and some peppers and it's really good. So that's it for today. Today we've talked about 10 Israeli foods. Obviously, there are a lot more. Please tell me in the comments below if you tried any, if you want to know more. Are there any other foods that uh, Israeli foods that you like that I, maybe I didn't mention? Um and yeah, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit up the like button and um check out hebrewpod101.com for more Hebrew, more content and I'll see you next time. Bye, we talk. Want to speak real Hebrew from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at hebrewpod101.com. Hi everyone, my name is Yara and this is Hebrew weekly words. Our theme for this week is vegetables. Batsal, onion. Batsal. אני לא בוכה, פשוט חתכתי בצל. כן. I'm not crying, it's just that I sliced some onions. <laughs> Why onion? <laughs> Why? Gezel, carrot. My sister has really orange hair. So when she was younger the kids in her kindergarten called her carrot head rosh gezer I thought it was cute she's a super cool kid too Ata yakhol osif gezer la salat can you add a carrot to the salad pitriya mushroom ani yotzet la ya'ar liktof pitriyot I'm going to the forest to pick mushrooms That's not something you do in Israel <laughs> And there's this saying in Hebrew uh, when like a lot of things appear suddenly, like there's this new hipster neighborhood and all of a sudden there are like a million coffee shops. So you can say that all these coffee shops turned up like mushrooms after the rain. Shum, garlic. Garlic is my grandfather's uh, medicine for everything. Once I had a sore throat and a friend of mine made me eat a whole fresh garlic clove just chew it up and swallow it it's supposed to do good for your throat or something i don't know if it did i but i know i could not concentrate in my sore throat after doing that so maybe it did help shum tari hu tov la briut fresh garlic is good for your health but not for your social life tapuach adama potato 
I like this one because I like potatoes, but also because it's a really cool term. It means literally earth apple. אני אוהבת לאכול תפוח אדמה בתנור. I love eating oven baked potato. This is the end of this episode of Hebrew Weekly Words. We talked about vegetables. What do you like to put in your salad? Tell us in the comments below and don't forget to check out the site. We'll see you next week. Bye! Shalom everybody, Edith here. This is Hebrew Top Words and today we're going to talk about top 10 must-know vocabulary for the restaurant. Let's start. Melzao Waiter Melzao Waiter Ha'adon noten tip la melzao the gentleman is tipping the waiter. So the word adon is not very much used in Hebrew, even less than the word gentleman in English. It's just that Hebrew got to be so casual with the years that people hardly ever use these words anymore. And it's kind of a funny thing to say, but it's still a word that you should know. You will encounter it in maybe even in the newspapers or in books, obviously. So yeah, it's good to know. Melzarit, waitress. Melzarit, waitress. Talia, melzarit ba misadai tarkit. Talia is a waitress in an Italian restaurant. Now, this is a much more realistic phrase, like in English, which is not something that happens very often. You have a different word for a male and a female doing the same thing. A waiter is melzar and a waitress melzarit. Tafrit, menu. תפריט, מנו. אפשר לראות את התפריט בבקשה? Can I see the menu, please? Um, this is just like a very useful sentence for a restaurant because I'm always that person that takes forever to choose. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I am. So just let me see the menu, okay? Unless it's some place that I go like every day or like a lot or often, I, I'm like sitting in front of the menu like... But I'm a good chooser, I have to admit. I like, when I, when I get my dish, everybody's like, oh. Hazmana, order. Hazmana, order. Hitkasher kedei levatsaya hazmana. Call to place an order. So the word for Hebrew hazmana can also mean a reservation. It can also mean the order that you're taking when you're sitting at the restaurant. And it can also be like a takeaway order that you do by the phone. Very useful word. Main. Water. Maim. Water. Tishte maim kol yom. Drink water every day. Well, of course, but not just every day. You have to like drink like three liters of water every day, especially now during summer. And you can get tap water for free in any restaurant or bar in Israel, so you should just know that. I think like that's a law or something that you're allowed to get free water. Chef. 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 Ha chef machinet amana. The chef is preparing the dish. Is there any language where a chef is not a chef? Like, I'm. Chef, chef. Ha, and there, her. Misada. Restaurant. Misada. Restaurant. Hu alach le misada achre avoda. He went to a restaurant after work. Um, so the word misada is from the word sa'ad, which means to eat or to have a meal. Cheshbon. Bill. Cheshbon. Bill. Melzar, a cheshbon. Waiter, the bill. Um, the word cheshbon in Hebrew also means maths. <laughs> because you have to do the maths to know how much you pay, right? So it just makes sense. So, waiter, the maths. Taim. Delicious. Taim. Delicious. Schug im gvina levana alechem ze taim meod. Schug with white cheese on bread is very delicious. Yes, it is. If you like spicy food. Manai karit. Main course. Manai karit. Main course. Ha manai karit ha erev hidaga la esh. Tonight's main course is grilled fish. 
Okay, everybody, that's it. Today we talked about 15 must-know vocabulary for the restaurant. Let me know in the comments below about your experiences at restaurants. Good ones, bad ones, funny ones. I sure have a lot of embarrassing ones. So <laughs> let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like up this video, subscribe, and check out HebrewPod101.com for more Hebrew, more content, and I'll see you all next time. Bye, shalom. Hi, everyone, shalom. Welcome to Hebrew Weekly Word. Uh, my name is Yara, and this week's theme is fruits. Perot, a uh, single is pri. So, fruits, exciting. Yeah. Tapuach, apple. Green apples are my favorite. Tapuchim irukim and tapuchim ahuvim alai. Avatiach, watermelon. Avatiach, uh, plural is avatichim. Mm. Biyapan, yesh avatichim merubaim. Japan has square watermelons. It's true. Google it. Teena, fig. I actually love figs. Uh, I have a friend who can't eat them because she says that their insides look like worms. Sorry, that's a picture you won't be able to get out of your head. Lesavta sheli haya etz teena. My grandmother had a fig tree. Mishmesh, apricot. The word is mishmesh, but Israelis usually say mishmish. קניתי בשוק קילו מישמישים. I bought one kilo of apricots in the market. דובדבן, cherry. This event was the cherry on my cream. האירוע הזה היה הדובדבן שבקצפת. And this is the end, so thank you so much for watching this week's episode of Hebrew Weekly Words. We talked about fruits, פירות. So don't forget to check our website and see you next week. Bye! Shalom everyone, my name is Yara and this is Weekly Hebrew Words or Hebrew weekly words, and today we're going to talk about tableware. So let's start. Kos, cup. Uh, kos is cup or glass, uh, as long as you're referring to this. Efshar lekabel kos maim bevakasha? Can I get a glass of water, please? Thank you. I was so thirsty. Tzalachat, plate. במסיבה יוונית שוברים צלחות. In a Greek party, you break plates. I think so. קומקום לתה, teapot. So קומקום, it's a funny word, uh, and that's uh, either a teapot or a kettle. הרתחתי מים בקומקום. I boiled water in the kettle or in the teapot. Sefel cafe, coffee mug, like so. So, sefel cafe for coffee mug or just sefel for mug. Ze sefel ha cafe ha This is my favorite coffee mug. Kankan, pitcher. It's funny, kankan and kumkum, if you remember. Ani rutsa lehazmin kankan limonada. I want to order a lemonade pitcher. This is the end. We were talking about tableware. Thank you so much for being uh, with me for this episode. Um, leave me a comment below and go check out the site. Thanks, I'll see you next week. Bye. Hello everyone, I'm Edith. Welcome to Weekly Hebrew Words. And today we're going to talk about drinks. Yeah. Café. Coffee. Ulay nishte od kos café? Maybe we'll have one more coffee? Yeah, coffee. That's my favorite drink ever. I started drinking coffee way too young. Uh, <laughs> I think maybe when I was like six, I guess. So when I was a little girl, my grandmother used to make me the strong Turkish coffee with the, you know, like the residue on the bottom. And it's really quite potent. And then she'd give me a jar of biscuits and I would dip biscuits in the coffee until all the coffee ran out. So, yeah. Thanks, grandmother. I'm really short now. Bira. Beer. Eze bira ta rotze? Chetzi o shlish? What beer do you want? A half or a third? So in Israel, you calculate beers by a third or a half of a liter. And, like, we don't have pints or anything like that. It's just either a third of a liter, half a liter, or a full liter, or a pitcher. And... They used to be like the same, shlish zemavish, like 
a third is disgraceful. Like nobody drinks a third of a liter or you like be a proper human being and get a half. But some beers are very strong, you know? And drinking a third of them is okay. Don't ever let anybody tell you don't, not to drink, you know, a third of a liter. That's perfectly fine. Chalav, milk. I'm a bit sensitive to milk, so I'll have my coffee black. Also, quite common for people, I think most people are somewhat sensitive to lactose or milk, or just don't like the flavor. So, I have my coffees with soy milk, um, and you say that in Hebrew, chalav soya. So, if you're sensitive, always remember to ask for chalav soya. Mine, water. Tishtu od mashu? Lo, rak mine bevakasha. Would you have something to drink? No, just water, please. So in Israel, like many other places, water in the restaurants, tap water in the restaurants are complimentary. So when the waiters ask you, would you want something to drink? And you don't, so you just say, it's fine, just water. Yain, wine. את רוצה להגיד לי ששתית בקבוק שלם של יין לבד? Do you want to tell me you had a whole bottle of wine on your own? No, I did not. <laughs> There's a very nice Israeli song that translates literally to I am drunk but not from wine. And that just really means that this guy is very happy and, you know, giddy from things that he sees around him. So he feels like he's drunk but it's not from alcohol. So, thank you everyone. Let me know in the comments below what's your favorite drink and let me know which age you started drinking coffee, if you do drink coffee. Help me make feel that, you know, help me feel that I'm not alone. And I'll see you next week. Don't forget to check out HebrewPod101.com for more content and more videos. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Great work. Here's a reward. Speed up your language learning with our PDF lessons. Get all of our best PDF cheat sheets and ebooks for free. Just click the link in the description. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Hebrew ebook before it's gone.